Hey guys, in this video we are going to talk about the type of question you'll see and how to solve using d equals vf plus v naught over 2 all multiplied by t. So remember in kinematics these are the only formulas you need to know. Not every formula has every variable in it. You'll notice the formula we're using today doesn't have acceleration in it. So this would not be a good formula if you were trying to solve for what acceleration equals to. But it's a good formula for a question like this. A bird accelerates north from rest in 24 seconds and it travels 36 meters in that 24 second period. What is the bird's final velocity? Well, we I would just write down all the information you know from the question. The bird travels 24 seconds. In that 24 seconds, it goes 36 meters. We are asked final velocity, and there was another important piece of information that said the bird acceler accelerates from rest. So from rest means from an initial speed of 0 meters per second. So our original velocity, v naught is going to be 0 meters per second, and it was north. So we didn't we're asked to find Vf. We were not in the question given acceleration, but that's okay because we're not asked to solve for it either. So we're going to use this formula because we have d, we have t, we have Vf, and or sorry, we have v naught, and we're being asked to solve for Vf. So we have all the information we need. Now you just need to plug it into the formula. Displacement was 36 meters. Vf we don't know minus v naught was 0 divided by 2 and then multiplied by time. Time was 24 seconds. So the first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to divide by 24 on both sides so that those that 24 will go away. On this side 36 divided by 24 is going to be 1.5 and that equals Vf. Vf minus 0 is the same as just Vf over 2. To solve for Vf, I'm going to multiply by 2, so these 2's will cancel out. Do the same thing over here. And 2 times 1.5 is just 3, so Vf is going to equal 3 meters per second north. And that's it.